Oh, we're back with Majima. I should have stayed asleep. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably would have been good. But, you know, it's too late. Now you're awake and now you're here. I just noticed yeah. that Komaki, if he didn't have that beard, would have a really sick Hitler mustache. Uh, um, mm. I'm not wrong, oh. am I? I mean, look at you're it. You're right. not wrong, no, and that's why I'm you're like... Right. Mm. I never, I, uh, I never thought about it until now. Maybe this is what happened, right? I think he, Komaki is generally a pretty cool dude throughout the series. <laughs> I mean, this is what happened. What the fuck is happening? Well, he didn't actually, you know, he, like, this is what happened. You're about to flick his ass. All right, all right, so you're going on like a conspiracy Eat thing. Eat his ass right, right, right now. That's the, that's the joke. Look, I'm not saying that Hitler wasn't a martial arts master. I don't think I am. that Hitler was. I am, I am saying that. I'm going to say that. Yeah, okay. I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, Hitler was probably just the whacked out mess head. He was though, and that's what made him a martial arts master. Oh, is that is that how you you learn the skills? So wait, look, you can be a martial arts master and still be evil. Wait, wait, wait. Look, just in the last look, if video, if Hong Kong cinema has taught me anything, in the last video Majima did a ton of meth and didn't help him fight. What number? Yes, it did. No, no, hold on. What number? Training is this, Alex? Do you remember? I don't fucking know. Cause this is not the first one, I don't think. It's no, no each each uh, tutor or whatever has five, I think. Ah, true. You have to fight them in their relevant style, right? Boy. They just want you to do whatever the move is. Yeah, but he won't grab me. Damn it. Yeah, you, you have to fight him until he does it. That's the stupid part. Fight in the bathroom. That sink doesn't have a soap dispenser. Well, you know, it was the 80s. They didn't have soap back then. This is true. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, everyone just scrubbed really hard. Sometimes you used sand if you really wanted to, you know. Yeah, so oh. soap wasn't invented until like '93. Oh, he's oh. he's fucking dead now. <laughs> oh no, he's fine. <sighs> so when we get into Majima Cinematic Universe, hmm? yeah. Mikey kind of looks like old short Majima. What? With two oh my eyes. god, he's Majima's dad. He's they, Majima's have, they, dad. Both have they both have long face, they both have that haircut. Yeah, it's Majima's dad, 100%. But I, I'm going to be honest, no. I thought you said Maggie kind of looks like Majima for a second, and nope. I was going to get real mad at you. Not even close. You, you want to know what I think yeah. this guy looks like? He looks like an Asian Barnacle Jim. Who's Barnacle Jim? I'll buy that. Also, he, how tall he's is the guy Majima? with the long face. Does anyone know that? He's supposed to be pretty tall. He's like 5'10 or 6. Let's check the wiki. And, and like, so is Kiryu, I think. I know Kiryu's tall. Majima is... Isn't Kiryu like 6'2 or something? Majima's Kiryu's pretty big. Kiryu's exactly 6 feet, yeah. which is huge for a Japanese person. Majima's even taller than him, apparently. No, Majima's oh. 182 centimeters and Kiryu's 183, so they're both 6 feet. He is 6 foot 1. It's an inch taller. Oh, around there. Sure. Still, that's like you're basically a giant in Japan if you're a six foot one. He will stop on you for money. I can call Mr. Shakedown if I want that, though. Yeah, but he does it with style, though. See, that gets you more money. Let's take it at website. Learned a new thug style move. Kind of a hard fight. The essence of thug. The essence of thugger. Talk for the essence of thuggery was. Nah. Oh, I see what you did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, babe. Oh God, babe, it's so hot when you smoke weed. <laughs> yeah, you love it. Uh huh. Uh huh. We're reaching the end, I can tell, because we're at the point of the game where you have to just start grinding stuff. Have to grind grinding? Side Pass. questing and 
Can I ask you a question? Yes. Beating fights to get moves. Oh, never mind. You, you, you did it. I was gonna ask why is this not over yet? <laughs> because you also need to kill him at the end. That's the answer. Also, it doesn't it doesn't count if you do it and he's not in the right spot and you don't hit him. Macho is accusing him of sandbagging. The tiger knee. Yeah. <laughs> I love that spit. It's like, oh, it's just like fighting a tiger. You got to strike once, not recklessly. And he's like, you can really fight a tiger. And he's like, no, you'd be you'd be murdered. That's stupid. <laughs> you can fight a tiger in this series. You uh, can, I can though, yeah. I, there's two, two of them. You do it as Kiryu, but yeah, that's right. I can think of it. Or least Ichiban. One. Ichiban oh. does it too. Uh, those guys are built different. I'm definitely considering, by the way, skipping. Uh, I've done Kiwami 1 and 2, and I'm thinking I'm just going to play Like a Dragon. Like yeah, threes. after you played, like, the remakes, like, 3 is rough. That's my problem. It's going to be such a huge drop-off to go to 3. It is such a, It's so many steps back. It is if tough. anything, I might just read a plot synopsis of 3 if I was you. Sure. And I mean, then after you do that, just go and play 4. Because the thing is... I know 4, 5, 6 is good. 4, 5, 6 are good, 1. And 2... Like, you don't need any context of the story for Seven. You can play Seven whenever. Sure, honestly. Yeah. Seven, seven almost feels like a side story, because we're talking, like, new character and, like, stuff like that. Yeah, you know? it's, like, it's, a, it's a soft reboot, basically. It, There's a exactly. couple returning characters, but they aren't, like, it's not that important to the plot. No, it's whatever, but, I mean, there might be some references to 3, 4, 5, 6 that I might not... I mean, if I look at some plot synopses, it might help, but, I mean, I don't think it's really going to be... I'm not going to be missing out on a lot. I feel like, if I do it like that. Oh, the yes. only game I would say to do that for, for sure, is 3. Because, yeah. like, if you play Yakuza 0, you miss out on a lot of references, because a lot of those are callbacks to other games, where it's like, oh, here's the character you saw before, but they're young now. Yeah, but it's funny, because if you play them in the opposite order, then it becomes really weird, which is why it's good. But, I mean, I, <laughs> I'm absolutely think it's, uh, Yakuza 0 is a great starting game either way. Yeah, 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 for real. For even real. if you don't gate every reference, it's designed to be a good entry game, too. So. I wish more games were like that. I wish it would be like, hey, here's a prequel, but it's also like a really good starting point. Hey, uh, have you tried pressing B when the enemy attacks? Yeah, no. enter RB stance when the heat gauge is at second bar. Third bar? No, you're not trying harder than enough. See, what I would, would do is I would hitting me. press RB to enter heat gauge at third bar, and then I would press B when the enemy attacks. I would try that. That seems wild, but I would try That's that. That's just what I would try. I mean, he needs to attack you for you to do the thing. Yeah, nice counter. This is something that if you're good at playing these games is an incredibly useful move, but that if you struggle, you will never ever use this even once. Yeah. It looks cool as hell, though. Whoa, what the fuck? You just slid Did you see that? Yeah. Yakuza games always give you a ton of moves to play with, and it's like, you really can't use all of them all the time. It's just kind of like, like, I think anyway, about like kind of finding your niche in the game, about which moves you can use, you know, which feel good to you, and which work for you. And yeah, not about, just... like, mastering everything the characters can do, because that's, there's a lot, you know? Yeah. Like, maybe you're not going to counter every move, maybe you're not going to use every, like, throw combo or whatever, but, like, you know... Fight Might need to do that, that when abuse. fighting super secret ultra bosses in some of the games, though. Maybe because those you know, bosses I... are really hard. There's yeah, but like, weapons. what if I didn't do that? No, yeah, but I'm just There's saying, weapons. like the ones that just have guns and they yeah. just kill you, for yeah. example. You get the swordfish cannon and the shotgun and the whatever, the demon dagger. Yeah, the demon gaze. Yeah, I gotta say the tiger versus human matchups probably really unfair. Yeah, for the tiger. Yeah, you just shoot it a bunch. No, I'd say the tiger wins nine times. No, I think I could easily take a tiger. Nine one matchup. Tiger can't even stand up. The two games where it happened. What's the tiger gonna do? Kill me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. if, you kick, if you just kick a tiger really hard, you're just gonna win. Like it can't even stand up. Like punching a shark in the nose just always works. <laughs> always. You ever try to throw a punch underwater? Simply strap a debt pack to the tiger and you win. I would simply, no, here's what I would do. I would hold a really sharp steel stake that's just a little bit 
wider than my hands in both of my hands and then i would sacrifice an arm to the tiger the tiger bites down the arm but now it's got a stake in its mouth you lose you're done you're, you're bleeding internally it probably went up into your skull i'm down one arm. like that's but the we, stupidest thing i've ever heard i'm down one arm but we got surgery you know i would simply not surgery? fight the tiger Hey, hey, Mike, you know, while the tiger's biting you, it's probably going to use these things it's got called claws? No, I won't do that, because I'm going to give it the arm. It's you just going to be like, oh, that looks like a tasty arm, yum, yum. Like Mike Little Tyson snack. says, everybody thinks they've got a plan until they get punched in the face. Or you're right. bitten in the arm by a tiger. No, I my plan is going to be flawless, because I can't lose. I think if Mike Tyson got bit on the arm by a tiger, he, tiger, he might be fine, but you might have some problems. I don't think Mike Tyson would get bit. I think Mike Tyson would just punch the tiger in the head. Isn't, isn't Mike Tyson like 80 years old? <laughs> yeah, but I think Mike Tyson could still do it. Listen, I'm talking about 80-year-old Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson in his prime would actually just like rip a tiger in half. Yeah. I don't think so, because um, maybe he's a watched... human being. Maybe if you I think wa- Mike maybe Tyson in his if... prime would probably just kiss a tiger <laughs> on the lips maybe, and be like, maybe, I love you. Maybe you haven't watched Ip Man 3, but I have, okay? Yeah, I've seen... Maybe you haven't watched uh, uh, the, def- the... What is it called? The Protector? The Defender? What is it called? Oh, I know what you mean, but I don't know what the fucking name is. It's yeah, one of those. <laughs> I think the it's elephant, the yeah. Defender. Hey, you gotta rescue that guy. Go back. Oh, wow. You just abandoned no, that guy. The Tony Jaw movie where he lights his leg on fire and then kicks a guy. What? Oh, that's the. <laughs> Is that the protector? I think that's the protector. Or the protector is the one with the staircase. I can't remember. It's one or the other. They can't grab you if you're on fire. Uh, the. What? No, that's not it. They can't be kicked by you if you kick them first. Yeah, it's the protector. Oh no, god, what are the these... tails here? What are with these faces? They're breakdancers, that's just how they look. Oh well, yeah, Cockroach's right, this is just Sonic Tons and Knuckles. One Jeez. of us looks like Bruce Lee, the rest of us look stupid. I'll post an image in the Discord of how I feel about this scene. I how Majima's inventory is just energy drinks. I'm pretty sure that's how it would actually be. Yeah, I mean... I posted the image. It makes no sense, but I just wanted to post it anyway. Majima drinks like six five-hour energies and thinks he has energy for three days or whatever. Clearly, if you never stop drinking, you'll never run out of energy. I think this is the one that sucks. The one that I hate, I think. We should get the breaker theme. Why, why are they standing like that? Why does one of them have a taser? Oh, they, they all, all have tasers. tasers. Taser boys. They hold them like lightsabers, it's really weird. They were holding guns for a second there. Hey yo! Hey yo! I wonder if I would. I wonder if I'll ever get a Yakuza game with a female protagonist. Eh, maybe. I could see it happening one day, but I don't think it will necessarily happen soon. I'm sorry, babe. Uh, I hate to break this to you, but girls can't properly digest money to gain power, so that's why, <laughs> you know, you'll never happen. Right? It, like, sticks in our throat. Yeah, I'm you know, sorry, one of the playable uh... characters in 5 is, uh, Haruka, right? Oh, that's right, I forgot about that, you can't hey, play as Haruka. I'm sorry, I hate to break this to you, but girls just want to have fun. <laughs> Fuck you, I hate that song. I, I am a girl, and I do just want to have fun. What about you, babe? I mean, same. Pretty much. Like, that's my, that's my, that's my modus operandi, you know, just like, yeah. Yeah. Four more times. Stop getting shocked. 
I'm trying. <laughs> or at least I was two and a half years ago when I recorded this. The thing, in, in the meantime, since then we could have finished what is a zero, one, and two. Mm. Okay, maybe just one. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe Kwame. It's okay, though. The journey. Hey, the journey is all about the friends we made along the way. Hey yo! Hey yo! Why do they all keep saying that? That's their catchphrase or whatever. It's funny. It's hey yo! <laughs> I I fought these guys in my game, but I don't remember them repeatedly saying "Hey yo" the whole fight. I only just noticed <laughs> that the yellow guy is way taller than the rest of them. Hey yo! <laughs> seeing, seeing him standing right behind the there. right guy, it's like, don't talk to me or my son ever again. Hey yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey yo! Hey yo! Forget about nice. it. I was totally fresh. Sorry about teasing you 600 times. Hey, sorry about damaging your brain like that, Majima. <laughs> it's fine, you weren't using it. This is true. He stopped using it for a while. This one's gonna be indefinite. I gotta say, the people defacing those uh, posters in the background are very consistent. Yeah! Essence of Blade Biting is very good. But I mean, you know, how many people are what attacking the? you with swords? Not often. Yeah, it's pretty rare, especially for uh, Majima. Right. I don't know, this seems like something you wouldn't want to do. What, put a sword in your mouth? Yeah, I mean... Listen, Majima's the type who would do, like, Essence of Bullet Biting and, like, have a technique where you just, like, bite a bullet instead of getting shot. I mean, if someone swung a sword at me, the last thing I'd want to do is put my head in the way of it. <laughs> Surprise Majima doesn't just eat the sword. You gain health. Hey yo. Hey yo. Okay, never never have to see these fuckers again. Oh, is that everything? Bam, yeah. I did the other three in a different video, I think. But it popped the it popped the completion point for uh, learning all that guy's moves. How many teachers are there? Uh, three? One for each of the base fighting styles. Cocoa ice? So, I think you're done with at least two of them. Mm. I, I feel like I did the... the slugger style ones already, maybe, but I don't remember. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of Kiryu with the... the stomp around and throw sofas at people style. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 no, I think we did that too. I think it sucked, but I think we did it. Remember that last fight being a bitch? Oh. Sorry, that last fight being Jesse Pinkman voice, a bitch. Ah, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Much better. Hey, Mr. White. I've seen a lot of Breaking Bad in the past couple of weeks, so... You fool. I did that thing a few weeks ago where I watched one Breaking Bad clip and YouTube's like, hey, you're the biggest Breaking Bad fan in the world. Here's every making Breaking Bad clip we have on your timeline now. And I'm like, okay, thanks, YouTube. I'll watch a couple more of these. And YouTube's like, uh-huh, you fell for it. Now everything we show you is Breaking Bad. Ah, uh, the algorithm. Right. This so you, is, this you is why it. you uh, disable your YouTube history. I mean, or, better idea, just bookmark your fucking subscriptions page and go there instead of the main YouTube page. That's what I, I've been doing for years. Better call Saul, too. Don't call Saul. Don't do it. I could Don't absolutely call do that, him. but I do actually appreciate the things it shows me sometimes, so... Are you calling Saul? Quit it. By and large, I think it works in my favor. Though I did click on a South Park video once, and now I'm getting South Park videos, and I don't like it. Mm. I've been telling them to fuck off ever since. Whatever you do, don't call Saul. Um, I would definitely call Saul. Don't do it. Don't do that. 
Too late. The call has been made. Shit. You're gonna get a really bad lawyer. He's a criminal lawyer. So did you ether so you can hire that person? No, but there's a sub-story for eating here a whole bunch. You should go to the arcade and play Outrun for an hour and a half. Yeah, please do that. It'd be nice. Outrun's hard, though! What's That's the, the fun of it, though. You get better. I don't get better at video games. I don't know... <laughs> How long have we known each other? Why are there, like, three women who all said, Hey, Majima san Uh, because I run the hottest club in town? Yeah, he's a huge... In fact, I run two of the hottest clubs in town now. Majima is six foot one, has an eye patch, and wears a ponytail. He stands out. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was kind of weird that they did it synchronized. <laughs> oh. Better at video games? In my house? Hey, um, so if Majima's six one, um, that motherfucker's like seven feet. Oh, Mr. Shakedown? Yeah. yeah, Mr. Shakedown is fucking, um, yeah, huge by anybody's standards. Oi. Did you bring a shotgun this time? <laughs> give me your lunch money, pipsqueak. Yeah, give me your gunch money. That's the Grinch with a gun. So I learned recently that he can do heat actions? I've... I didn't know that. Who, Mr. Shakedown? Yes. Yeah. Hey Alex, have you ever had a honey they just gunches fucking of kill you. Have you ever had honey gunches of oats? Yeah. <laughs> good, right? It's good cereal. I'm a cinnamon toast crunch uh thumbo, personally. <laughs> right, that's that's our mediocre cereal, so are you you pick oh, the wrong wow. one. He's no, that's a great cereal. The gunch. Listen, you just because you live well. in a place where they put it in ice cream all the time, babe, doesn't mean it's good. Oh, we're gonna have to talk you about know, this if you later. Have, if you have ice cream and cereal, you can just mix them together. There's nothing yeah. stopping you. Yeah, they're right about that. I think the universe um, is I think, uh, I think my uh, allergy to milk is stopping me. Yeah, you would, you would need some kind of like frozen yogurt. No, actually, that's dairy too. Yeah. That There's nothing work. stopping you except your own hubris. You need <laughs> non-dairy ice milk. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get violently to ill from my meal, you're right. My... It's not the worst. And the, way... the, the texture's really bad, though. The so most it's, people it's are gonna great. tell you to eat it, but what you should really do is just have pilk. Problem oh, yeah. solved. Pilk is great. How does pilk... that fix my problem, Michael? Well, now you've got Pepsi in your body. Yeah, pilk eliminates all the right. bad stuff. So when I have a fever, does that help that, or...? Well, well yeah, get a because, fever it's, because yeah. It, it's Pepsi. It's yeah. pilk. Yeah, the Pepsi will, uh, it has, uh, hey, you know what? I do have, properties. I do have lactose-free, uh, milk, and I ha well, I don't have Pepsi, but I do have Sprite and Dr. Pepper. Which one of those is a good substitute? All of the above. Both. It has yeah, a, whichever, whichever one you want. It has uh -huh. acidic properties which burn away all of the milk in your body. Alright, I'm just gonna say I have tried milk and Coke before because, you know, theoretically, like, Coke and ice cream is good, right? You know? <laughs> sure, but have you tried pilk and And milk? the lactose-free milk can kind of taste like ice cream, I've noticed. So I was like, maybe it's okay. It's not. It's bad. It's a bad idea. Don't do it. <laughs> okay. But have you com tried combining pilk with more pilk? I don't know how it's common in, like, the middle of the country. I don't know what the fuck they do in there. Uh, so I'm... I'm actually... It's funny <laughs> because this was a Laverne and Shirley bit that became a meme. And I don't understand how we got, like, there 30 years later. Vernon Shirley, huh? That's yeah. definitely a show that I've seen. I yeah. need to do a lateral pass with this. Can we talk about dirty soda for a second? Has anyone done that? What, what is no, dirty what is soda? That? What? what the fuck are you talking about, babe? That would you just mix all the sodas together? No, that that's, when you take, that's when you take coffee creamer and put it in your soda. So it's pilk. What? Yeah, you, you take those flavored coffee creamers, like those really fancy ones, and you add it to soda, and you make a dirty soda. You're and just describing of... pilk, but it's a, it's a It's a TikToker craze right now. Well, oh, TikTokers have something wrong with them. Right. I, don't... I, I look at that and I'm like, why the fuck would you do that? That seems vile. 
Honestly, because because the disgust to... gets them views is why they're yeah. doing it. No, no wait. it's not disgusting. It's like they like it, and it's like, oh, this is great. I love this. this is now, hold yeah, on they're a lying. Is they're lying. Just... No, 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 hold up. They're lying. I actually think, and I could be wrong, this might actually be a Midwestern thing, if I remember correctly. No, it, it literally, Coke and uh, milk is literally like a Midwestern thing. Like, mm -hmm. adding. And it's n no, but it's not just Coke. That's why I'm saying I think this whole yeah, it's thing. All, it's just cola in general. It's like, any like that soda kind of with, that kind of cola, not milk. any soda, but it's like you know cola. No, I think but, it used to not be any soda, and now it is actually. I think that's a real thing. I, I, I refuse to believe anyone's is. mixing Mountain Dew and milk. You know, live in a whole new world. Google it soon. if you want, but Ma Mountain Dew, Code Red, and milk. <laughs> Oh, I've got, I've got definitely whatever, do something like that. whatever the yellow cans of Mountain Dew are, and I've got oat milk. That's kind of like... Hey, babe, can you, you, uh, can you try mixing uh, milk and monster for me real quick? Mountain Dew, code milk, milk. Milkster? I love Milkster. Milkster? Oh, God. <laughs> don't don't Google that, by the way. Mountain Dew, code pill. Babe, it's time for your Milkster. <laughs> Mountain Dew, code pill. <laughs> I feel like we lost what's going on. What the hell is happening, Miko? Uh, that's a good question. The video's over in like 45 seconds. Well, there's so... a number of characters in this game, and all of them interact with each other. What are we doing to please this woman? The chef? Mountain Dilk. <laughs> chef seems kind of like a dickhead. That's, that's us. Alright, well, uh, that's enough food crimes. What other liquids yeah. can you mix Speaking with Speaking of milk? food crimes, uh, Frank West mixes orange juice with coffee creamer. Frank West is, uh, the monster. greatest Frank, monster. Frank, Frank West is literally feral. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 Frank West is a reporter, you know. He's covered wars. Yeah. Alright, but what, what about milk uh, and cum? 